Hello, it's your former track star slash future pole dancer here. Uh, this is more of a like semi rant and well, rather than introduce it, I might as well just go off. So I am looking for pole stock pictures just so I can just add to these videos for my lovely viewers out there. And as I was looking up just pole dance, that's all I Googled, it was so weird. As you're scrolling, it is nothing but white. Nothing. You can scroll and scroll and scroll. And I came across one image of black women pole dancing. But the whole first page was literally, even images of like cartoons to show you how to do like certain crazy moves, white women. And it's just, it's so frustrating to see that because right now there is this TV show that's either coming out as, as I'm making this video called P-Value. P-Value, excuse me, P-Value, Valley, uh, um, which is all about pole dancers in some, I think Memphis, um, and that features black pole dancers but it's more on the exotic pole dancing end. So exotic pole dancing is the more sexual pole dancing that you would see most likely in strip clubs. In comparison to when you look up pole dance online, it's competitive pole dancers, it's athletic pole dancing. And then it wasn't until I looked up black women pole dance that I actually got to see black women pole dancing. And even those images, a lot of them were incredibly sexual, mainly exotic. And first of all, there weren't even that many black women in those pictures too. It was women in like black latex or like booty shots or just super sexual. And it's just a reminder that we, we as black women, so this video really goes out to my black women. Um, we, there's still so many spaces that we really just don't exist. And it does make me wonder with such little black influence, even in the competitive pole dance arena, how does that affect judges? You know, holding two things equal, you know, two very talented pole dancers equal, is there shade prejudice? Is there color prejudice? And I'm not quite sure. I haven't been, I'm not that deep into this pole dance world yet, but doesn't look very positive for my black pole dancers out there who are competitive. Um, and it, it just reminds me that there's just so many spaces that black women, black people as a whole just do not take up. I'm also an author. Um, in children's literature, black people, whether you're a, a publisher, an author, an editor, a marketer, we really only take up 5% of the industry in any of those respective fields. Um, black people in tech, numbers are incredibly small. We as a community need to find ways to take up these, we need to just take up these spaces. Um, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to make these videos is to inspire other people to really surpass whatever it is that I'm doing and really take up these spaces. Um, so we can get the representation that has been long overdue. So enjoy all of the videos that I post on this pole dance journey. If you guys have any suggestions for me, if you guys have your own experience for my black pole dancers out there, if you guys have experience um, with competing, how was that for you? I'm totally open to learn because this is an amazing learning experience. So love y'all. So excited, you're wonderful, black is beautiful, black lives matter, and catch me in these next videos.